be on the blue side. Fantasy mid will be on the red side. We will I, see the theory. We'll maybe. see <laughs> whether the theory comes up. So far, it's hundred percent win rate on the red side. What's gonna be the first man here, guys? Well, I'm really praying that Iron Man actually breaks it first. But my best on this red side. I don't know why because. I think Hayabusa. If, if, oh my god. The enemy I think is it banning. would be so stupid if you don't bet Hayabusa after that display the last Yeah, game. yeah, yeah. Like, is, yeah. like you said, right? He's good at split pushing, but he's good at team fight. He just can pick off stragglers so easy Your and his ultimate OG banning. Shadow Q does so much damage. Yeah, plus the Hellcat, right? Like stamina at Hayabusa and also Hellcat in one team. Like, the, he have a blind and he, Hayabusa can do a lot of things. It, it's so crazy to having that both in one uh, team. That's so a lot of damage, work. yeah. And, yeah. Uh, a lot of people have been calling Hellcard as that assassin support. Like, he's there for the assist. So I think the with Hellcard just being banning. around, say, Angela, and uh, just sitting besides Angela kind of stops Angela on ultimating onto anyone else to escape. Yeah. Because then Hayabusha can burst her down. Because yeah. he had that passive. Then True. everyone in that tree yard around Hellcard throws a skill and gets Hellcard. Yeah, but yeah, okay. Oh. Just want to round it up. This picking. I think is the the best that we'll see throughout the next three days. This four heroes has been the most old, like the most OP one, or what you want to say? But Grog, Grog? no, Selena. Pick the main. Pick the Grog. Pick the Grog. Grog, Grog, oh! Grog. The first the Grog of the day. Is you know, I think the Grog will be swapped with Fanny, but that's about it. But first Grog ain't locked in. No, oh. DG. DG will be a perfect one. Lay no. Oh, Layla. JBC will be happy with that. <laughs> they keep changing it. <laughs> Selena gets locked in now. We talked about this. And that was one hero that we said that will show up. Yeah. This is the wild card that we're talking about. Yeah, because uh, Aiden decided that they don't want to ban Selena. Your team and is picking. And Fantasy decided that they just open Grok into Aiden main. Because Grok has been 100% uh, ban rate on a lot of the Southeast Asian scenes. Yes. So seeing Grok here on the stage would be very interesting to see True. how powerful Grok truly is right now. And there's Kakura as well on Aiden main. No, I'm saying that this Selena might just help your theory right. Because <laughs> this Selena might play a huge factor yeah. if Fantasy main were to win this game. Meanwhile, on the, on the blue side, it looks like Aiden main good pick as standard as it can be there, hovering over the Kagura and the Lancelot and I think, you know, these two heroes are just very, very solid. Enemy no, the Grook, I, I, I don't know, I don't want it to be either win because I, Grook that had, uh, that not banned and peak, yeah, Grook is a very tanky one, he will distract the high fantasy main and just stay in one lane while the others do the, team the rest. Your is like the, uh, the Lancelot and Kagura with a lot of damage, with the Umbrella and the Dash and the Thorn Rose. It's like, a, it's gonna be an epic one. Yeah. But meanwhile, they you need see the Fantasy Main going to lock in Alpha and Harley, very standard picks. The only thing throwing off so far is the Selena and that Grok, obviously. Yeah. I want to see how they just revolve around it. Oh, no way. No way. No, 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 no. Uh, really? Yes. Oh, oh my god. No, don't do this. Really? They are gonna bring the cheese. <laughs> they are going to bring it. Lock it in. Aurora Saber. Saber. Oh my god. This, Aurora this, Grok Saber. This is locked down for days. They do it. The they are gonna do it. Look picking. at the amount of crowd control that they have. The triple swing, the Aurora ultimate, the, even the Kagura, the wild charge from Grok. This lineup is scary and you know, at least we end up with something, you know, a bit more normal. Helios. Oh my god, what do you guys think I'm, about this pick fan? I still don't see Bane. I'm really sad that I don't see Bane, but I don't see Bane. And I think that's one of the issues. You have Selena, you have um, even on the enemy team, even on the blue side, you didn't even see Bane with yep. that good of a pick. Yeah. You picked Aurora. But, but now and yeah, we're gonna go and pass it to the casters already because the game has already started. So KBC says they sue, take it away. Welcome ladies and gentlemen, pros and noobs of Mobile Legends, I'm KBC Sensei here alongside with my lovely co-caster, which Vienna. is Vienna. Vienna Sukiyosaki. Don't forget to follow us on our Instagram, I think the handles are down there. But again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go in for our match number four, mm -hmm. which is Ito Main from Philippines going against Fantasy Main from, from Vietnam. Vietnam. Mm. So far it's been very, very welcome good. All the teams have been going Legends. again. And it looks like we heard the rank bell of Welcome to Mobile Five Legends. Ladies and gentlemen, let us know down in the comment the section which team you Smash think is going to take away this round. Will it be the Philippines? Or will it be the Vietnam. 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 Yes, I love it that way. And I look at our social media handles out down there. You can let us know as well down in the comments in here. And ladies and gentlemen, this is going to be a one underdog fight as we move into game screen right now. Lot of tension in the mid lane. 
playing with one, two, two, two formation for either main. And it's gonna be fantasies being ruled as well. They're gonna have the two one two set up. Unfortunately, or fortunately for Edamain, they have two members in the mid lane. So this is perhaps the setup that Philippines would like to use. They have the mid guys in the lane. They're trying to harass the mid lane as much as possible before going in. Coco, at the meantime, he's already down to at least a slither of health, but he's still alive at this moment. He perhaps wants to fall back or take some creeps out of the weave. And you can see that the bottom lane, the matchup will be High Lords and Alpha, a deadly duo against Etermis Lancelot as that Aurora comes into play. We did not see that game in here, but it looks like it's going to be a bloody battle in head. It looks like Team Etermin are managed to take out the crap. And looks at that 3 versus 2 right now as first the first player comes into the Grok in hand. Oh, it looks like there was a bit of a miscommunication coming in from Team Etermain. As Team Etermain, they will lose their first member, which is Kagura, for that one to one trade. Early on, Kagura was holding the crab or the gold crab in sense, the buff, and now she loses it all in because she's dead from the ground. But anyway, Etermain started off really, really strong. Alongside with Fantasy Main, we haven't seen much gameplay in Vietnam Team. And Lancelot comes in for the kill. Ooh, An ally has, has been to go slain. down by high loss because of his misposition, trying so hard to try to initiate a little bit of war here and there. But of course, they have to be really careful. Both team is quite new in uh, the MSC realm here. A lot of things is being staying here. A, a total of uh, 144,000 is at stake here. Yep, indeed. And we we're talking about the panelists. We we're laughing actually at them. They're saying that the red team are always having the advantage in terms of winning the game. But before that, I have to see this middle match game. Jawhead Hardy wants to come in alongside with Grok and Kagura. And unfortunately enough, Grok has been the meta tank and is available for Etermain's choice. So perhaps they want to go and utilize Grok at the most of it. Selena on the top lane, despite that, however, at the bottom lane, there is an uh, engagement coming in. Pain, he will he survive this push? And yes, he will, even though Harley was there to push his ultimate. It didn't really work as well. A lot of movement from Fantasy Main trying to put a lot of pressure for either being hot lane, but leaving the other two lanes empty. I'm not quite sure if it's a really good strategy for Fantasy Main, especially when either main uh, clearing out a lot of minions now, but at the same time was following the same footstep as well. They're leaving each other, trying to invade each other jungle, initiating war potentially. Fantasy main, they want to get the good war or the team An fight, ally has but then Selena already killing off Saber at the top lane, so they want to aim for these type of wars. Unfortunately, love the more they stick together, the more lanes are open. But at the same time, Eater main, they also have their problems to face on their own. Look at that, they are losing objectives in terms of the crap and the turtle. Although it's been contested by Eater main, is this the right choice? Uh, being blocked with rock wall right now, being sent off, maybe trying to an steal ally it all. Has slain the turtle. Rock an enemy has been turtle. slain. As Grok comes in with the kill and the turtle, double and kill. a double kill double comes kill. in for Grok. This is why he is the meta tag for this whole game right now. Grok is so unstoppable, and Yelly Hayes, he should be given credit, enough for credit to play Grok at this highest level. Especially Grok has been. Uh, the ultimate band yep. for the last three games. Also, Hala is going to initiate the war here. Oh, being oh. stunned right there. High loss, even though he pops his heavens highway, unfortunately it will not work out. Jaw hit coming in, perhaps to rocket down some members of Itame. Itame Yuji with the Kagura, she's gonna survive to live another day into the battlefield. Ladies and gentlemen, Itame are up at least 1,000 gold, but then. It feels like it's an equal trade, even though Eater Main started off really, really strong. Yeah, I mean, uh, they did try to uh, secure one extra kill above Fantasy Main and also an, an extra turtle above them. So uh, it was quite a little different. And we are actually in the 5th minute mark. The Lord will respawn in another 46 seconds. Lancelot at the top lane wants to harass Selina, but then we're going to move on to the bottom lane. Look at that Saber with the ultimate! And they will take Aurora out with 
Hardly. Lancelot taking down Selena. Selena not producing much impact for the team. But then no worries about that. Eater main are still in the lead for goal and kills. Your team destroyed the turret. Eater main trying to increase the jungle, getting to as much as jungle monster right here away from fantasy main. Trying to uh, keep them from snowballing Selena. Um, not trying, uh, not contributing as much as what you said before. They have to really Lord try to resurrecting the soon. here for fantasy main to represent Vietnam um, in the next leg of this competition. Yes, indeed. And, uh, I also want to agree on one point that Anita main going into the jungles is to disrupt the economy of fantasy main, not only for Selena but the rest of the team. <laughs> Unfortunately for Selena, she has to fall again, which brings me to a question. Is she impactful in this early to mid game? Because these are the games that run well. And we did heard that Selena has been one of the more OP heroes in this current meta or current patch. But oh, we have to wait and see because right now, this is not the Selena that we want to see. That's, that's really correct. Especially with Grog, his speed movement, he already got uh, a lot of things right now. The rapid move right yep. there. And also, I think yeah, he's going. Oh! Oh my goodness! Grog with the nice ultimate with. The enemy right here and team Eater main day one more blood in the their hands. Unfortunately, the high loss will kill off Kagura already from here. So it's going to be a one to one trade. And it looks like Jawhead is a bit, a bit of naughty night with the high loss. And Selena finally getting her kill on board. Eater main they are running for the dear lives. Although they're chasing Lucky, Lucky with the nice punch pulling out there because Selena getting a double kill as Harley continuing on for Fantasy May. Fantasy May with the double kill making it four. Instead, it's a wipeout literally from there. It's <laughs> quite a really clean play from Fantasy. They're really committed into the war, trying to kill as much as uh, possible from that. And Right now we can see like the gold lead is quite uh, small right now with the kill difference with 7 to 9. And ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about Fantasy Main. Fantasy Main did not have their own MPL in Vietnam. They qualified through the qualifications, which is more like a best of 3, best of 5 thingy. But look at that, they are putting a lot of pressure for the Philippine teams or Eater Main. Philippine fans out there, <laughs> you guys have to watch out for Fantasy Main and the rest of the underdogs because they are really, really showing us what they can do. As you can you see, it will be Eater Main saying, you know what, never mind, Lancelot is there, perhaps to save the Philippine Pride in here. Oh my goodness, the ball and Titan Fantasy deterrent. Main just trading kills, getting the crap for the amount of gold, even though paid from Eater Main, managed to get the Bloodlust Axe to increase the blood steal. Or the life to fall, Lancelot. I don't think it's enough because he's going to kill up his hero kid as much as possible. Selena with the trap coming in, managed to catch Yelly Haze. And oh, nice juking over here by Coco to stay Yelly. But Yelly, you have to know you're no high loss. You're not the tankiest tank. You are the most mobile tank, but you're not the tankiest tank in the life. Oh. He's gonna survive. My oh my. He provides like a lot of distraction for uh, Alpha to even run away from that situation which is quite good. Oh, a really good block but he let Hylos go. <laughs> I think the block is there to stop what's inevitable because yeah. Fantasy Main right now, they have the potential of the war fight and as you can see Harley killing off Grog and more and kills coming in slain. on the side of the opposite team which is Eater Main. Eater Main, they are just trading kills alongside with Fantasy Main. I'm not sure who's getting the most advantage. We have to see the goalie but the goalie comes into the Philippine side and uh, it looks like it will be a 5,000 goalie even though they lose two turrets, uh, sorry, two kills. But they still have four turrets in their hands, so that's actually really good. You can They're see the hero keeping up with the main objective is to secure as much turret as possible and try to rush in into the inner turret and get the last. Yes, oh. indeed. And Eater main, even though they had a lackluster kill, kill bot, they still are doing wonders in the house. Perhaps because stopping the Selena not being the most potential hero out of Fantasy main's part. And uh, even though Harley and Alpha draw hit coming in, they need their own farm. So Selena losing the farms and you know not giving the confidence for her team coming into the game. Ladies and gentlemen, Yelly yeah, hey, with the ulti and of course the same ulti comes into play. The war starts right now. The Philippines. They are marching forward. The wrong ulti on to Jaw hit has come in with a triple kill for Lancelot. Lancelot chasing up here before Harley takes down Lancelot in the hands. And then Harley 
My oh my, he is dead already. It's gonna be a team wipe for Etermin. Etermin win this war. All thanks to Lancelot. And now Etermin is going to contest for that lord with no contest from Lancelot because they are completely wiped out. Uh, meanwhile, um, Etermin is going to just uh, split push it uh, all the way through in the mid lane, getting that inner turret. But securing that lord. lord is really essential for Etermin to really push, get that final push. Uh, into Fantasy Main's And Vienna looks like the curse might be broken. It looks like Etermin is bringing the Philippine Pride and the Blue Team Pride here because they are winning whatever they can. 10,000 gold lead, 5 turrets down, 1 lot coming into the mid lane as Team Etermin carrying that Philippine Pride. They are trying to push into the Your mid team lane and perhaps bringing a checkmate for Fantasy Main. Fantasy Main, meanwhile, they are camping around their turrets, the final few turrets left. They have lost tier 1 and tier 2 turrets. They only have tier 3 to defend as the Lord marches on. My, oh my, Eater Main, they can. They can do this with the Lord tanking for them. It looks like all of the members of Eater Main will converge to mid lane before taking out so much damage as Alpha initiating really good before Saber comes in with jaw hit. My oh my, ladies and gentlemen, this is a game that we should be watching. He's a main. Look at that Lancelot coming in pain. He wants to use the Shinra Tensei under here with the Lancelot. And Shaito will fall down onto Fantasy Main. Oh my goodness, three more heroes left. Make it to Vienna because right now it's not looking good for Fantasy Main. Oh, look at the damage. Oh, you have been slain. Uh, wasn't and Alpha. able to get uh, Saber right kill. there, but he was uh, quite a call even though it was a solo 1v1 uh, battle right there in the mid lane. It's the only consolation kill that he could do because there's a lot of damage being done already onto Eater main side. Fantasy main, they only have two more turrets down. Ladies and gentlemen, you don't win by kills, you win by turrets and objectives. And now, looking at this, Everyone in Eater Main, the highest level right now is Pain and Yuji with their Kagura and Lancelot at 14 levels. While the opposite team, Zed, is the Harley and May. The fight's coming over here, ladies and gentlemen. High loss popping up the highway over here. Yelly Hayes with the ballsy move going in with the Ring of Flame. He's going to get ulted, but that's not enough to stop him. And my oh my, that Grog is scary as a tank. He's putting a lot of pressure for Fantasy Main trying to roam around, uh, put in some pressure so that they will be pushed all the way back to the base. Cannot even farm anymore. A lot of their jungle monster being stolen um, right from their palm. Just little things that Fantasy Main can do other than winning the last potential war right here to even um, can get the opportunity to win above uh, either main. The problem is they don't have level parity. As you can see, Saber comes in. He is a bit of a bit scared. He just want to initiate something from initiate here as the retreat. rest of Ether Main they are putting on tons of pressure, tons of tension to his team. Alpha wants you to initiate something but Grog comes in with his ultimate and managed to take down Alpha. Four members left for Fantasy Main to defend their base because their base is fully scourged by Ether Main. Here comes as the second turret perhaps will fall down which will be the bottom lane and oh Aurora with that slain. nice move unfortunately unable to kill it but then two members down three members down enemy. Aurora once more gets the kill and she will not miss ladies and gentlemen Lancelot is diving like crazy with the first and second skill and he wants Blood Saber as well waiting for his cooldown of his ultimate as he will perhaps whoa turn you around unfortunately it's a little too much turret. he's too overbought but then the enemy turrets are all the dead ladies and gentlemen Eater main have exposed fantasy's main space they are nowhere close of coming this back the allied super minion coming from Lord three resurrecting lane consecutively soon. at the same time. Fantasy Min is going to be retreating back into their own base, trying to clear as much as minion as possible. While Lord is actually resurrected now, probably either Min is going to get the Lord if they want to. Or oh, oh nice oh, ultimate dying up from Aurora as Lancelot kills in here. And there is the war, ladies and gentlemen. Fantasy main cannot afford to lose any more heroes. They will have to perhaps give up this lot or at the very least trying 
to at least push it a bit and then come back forward into the base. Look at that. They are so exposed. Even though their lanes are perhaps cleared up right now, but then it's a little too late. Eater main contesting for this lord, the almighty lord, as oh, Yuji is camping over there. I mean, Rubo, sorry, onto the Aurora as the rest of Eater main. They are still aware of their opponents. They know that their opponents want to steal this lord. As Saito comes in already with the high loss, the highway pops up as Kagura will take this as Killing Free coming in for Lancelot. The double kill comes in. Can we see a triple kill coming in here? Because I want to skip it up over there. Hey, Shira Tensei as Brock goes in with the jaw head. Pain, he's chasing for Zed. That Harley, he's running like a small kid. He cannot run anymore because here comes Pain. Pain, you are the god right now with the Lancelot. Unfortunately, it's a little too late. He will not get a kill, but he will get the objective. Congratulations to Team 